brafo brama baka bara do firi Goni brafo brama tla laka bara tla la Brafo brama baka bara bla wufache Brafo brama yaka bara bla wufache Brafo brama yaka bara bla wufache What's up guys? How's it going? It's Jason here today doing a review on the 21st Amendment Brewery. It's out in San Francisco, California, I believe. It claims it's 70 IBUs. Um, American IPA, uh, it's uh, established in 2000, and here's the can, uh, it's a pretty cool can, it has a dude holding up beer, like the Statue of Liberty, um, I'll read the back of it, it says, hey, we're Nico and Sean, we live for great beer at our 21st Amendment Brewery in San Francisco, if it's not original, it's not worth a damn. To us, the 21st Amendment is more than the right to make beer. It's the right to do it the original American way before Prohibition killed the tradition of brewing it brave and true. We run the brewery with the same free spirit, boldly experimenting to craft beer that's authentic and new. Craft beer in a can, sure. It's better for the beer and it keeps it fresher. It's more portable. It's easier to recycle. It's better for all. Yeah, it is easier to carry cans. Um, so this was given to me by Barry, uh, when we went up to visit him, and I'm trying this beer out. I'm going to try it. Uh, it looks pretty good. I read a lot of good stuff about it, so I'm ready. I'm hyped to try it. I'm using my great Carlsberg glass. No bottle opener needed. Here we go. Oh, wow. Getting a nice smell already, just when I poured it out. Okay, check that out, guys. All right, Whew, nice piney, citrusy, floral smell to it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up in the light. It's got a uh, what kind of color? I'd say a very nice um, copper orange color. Okay, or honey orange color. Let me get the light here. So it's got a very nice color to it, um, and it's got a nice, almost two-finger head, white, or uh, yeah, creamy head. Very, very nice smell to it. Wow, I really like it. Uh, like I said, all the stuff you'd want in a beer. Get a little pineapple, maybe some peach, some nectarine some floral hoppy flavor and pine very good i'm ready to try it cheers mm. <laughs> wow this is very very good wow i hope i can find more of these already i know i like this mm. this is really good it does say in the description that it has a nice uh, sweetness to it, nice multi character. Um, I do get that, but I'm left with uh, a nice uh, piney, uh, hoppy flavor. It does say that it uses Simcoe and Antonym and Amarillo hops. And uh, it definitely does deliver a tangerine, pineapple-y, grapefruit flavor. A lot of citrus, pineapple, very interesting smell and flavor. Um, it's, it's very complex, very, very complex. I will say that about this beer. It's awesome. It's, as you can see, it's already leaving a nice lacing. Mm. This beer really is... Um, you know, it, it meets up to the to the name, to the description and hype, I guess. Mm. This beer is, you know, it's not super cold. I left it so I could get it a little warm, but uh, I'm gonna say this. The maltiness is coming out. The the maltiness comes out. The citrus flavor comes out and lingers. Uh, the citrus hoppiness, some pine, some earthy, biscuity flavors come out. Some fruits. And 
it's kind of like a fruit drink or something. It, it tastes like you get that, but the hop flavor dies. It's not very hoppy at all. And it says it's 70 IBUs. It's more like a, a pale ale. <coughs> this definitely tastes more like a pale ale, not an IPA. I must say that. It did at first taste somewhat hoppy and, you know, citrus flavors and, you know, the some floral net, floral flavors to it, but it doesn't, it's died off. There's not, it's not, the carbonation, it's not as carbonated, it's like a carbonation fizzed away. I don't get a lot of carbonation. It goes down really smooth, not very much carbonation. It is 7, I don't know if I mentioned this, it is 7% ABV. Um, an India Pale Ale with a solid malt backbone and hop flavor. Yeah, it's more maltier than hoppy almost. It's weird, and this is an IPA because I'm not tasting it. But I'm going to drink this up and get back to my final word. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been drinking this uh, 21st Amendment brew. It's very good. I've been enjoying it. This was a, it has a nice malty uh, start and then a nice, uh, you know, biscuity, uh, bready flavor with some caramel in the beginning and the caramel and then it and then it kicks you with some uh, citrus and pine flavor and um, perhaps some grapefruit and um, some floral flavors there uh, very good I will say it's really well balanced um, it's pretty good uh, you know it's not too you know strong or anything like that but for its claim for 70 IBUs it's really weak and it died, the hop flavor dies off but nonetheless, it's not overbearing. It's smooth. <clears throat> I like it. And uh, plainly said, uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's like a B plus. It's a high grade. Uh, it's a great beer. It's very well crafted. I enjoy it. And um, I could drink a nice six pack of these. And even though it's 7%, the alcohol isn't that noticeable. And uh, I could session these. So great beer for the... Uh, 21st Amendment Brewery, India Pale Ale, um, everybody pick it up, and if anybody knows, uh, if anybody, you know, knows where we can get these in the Lehigh Valley, please let me know, and, uh, thanks for watching the review, guys, and cheers.